Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. This is the first of a series of videos that will show you how to use QuickBooks Online. I have a number of Sage accounting videos on my YouTube channel. I've also created some videos and have uploaded them to YouTube that cover the Zero software. And I have numerous videos about bookkeeping and accounting. I cover a number of aspects of accounting. This is a new series about using QuickBooks Online. Now I'm aware that there's going to be an update at some point for QuickBooks Online. So the layout of your software may look slightly different. Generally with these accounting software providers, the layout doesn't change much. They just modernize it perhaps once a year, once every couple of years. So it might look slightly different, but you'll find that the tutorial should be relatively easy to follow even if your software looks a bit different to what's showing on the screen. This is the first video of the series. It's all about getting started and what you need to do to set up QuickBooks. I don't know how many videos are going to be in this series, but I want to cover all the basics of QuickBooks, things like getting started, raising sales invoices, saving sales invoices, emailing sales invoices, creating customer accounts, creating supplier accounts, recording purchase invoices. And then I'll probably move on to a new series that will cover bank reconciliations. I'll have a short series on bank reconciliations on QuickBooks online, perhaps a short series on VAT returns too. I would appreciate any support I can get. This is all for free. It's on YouTube. So please like the videos as you go along. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. If you are willing, then please go to my website, www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com and you can make a donation to the site to keep these videos coming. So let's get started. This is QuickBooks Online. This is what it looks like. Yours should look very similar to this. You probably won't have this green box at the top here. This is just a reminder that this is a trial version. I'm just using a trial version for this tutorial because obviously I don't want sensitive information to show if a business was already on QuickBooks. I don't want to uh, display their accounting information publicly. All you need to do to get started is go up to this gear at the top right corner. If we click on that gear, we then have your company to the left here, account and settings. There's lots of options here. We'll go through some of these in the tutorial, but for most users, you'll probably only need two or three options under this gear, and I'll go through them as these videos go on. So let's go to account and settings. If we click on that, you may have this box up here. If you're new to QuickBooks, you'll get this box up here. You can enter your information, such as your company phone number and lots of other things. This is a fake number, it's not my number. And all the details are entered in these boxes will be fake too. I'll just make them up uh, for this video. So you may get that box up here. If you do, you can fill it in and click save. If you don't, then this is the page that you'll have. So account and settings and company. You can add a company logo. I suggest you do that because that's what's going to appear on your invoices. So we have one here, the Bookkeeper Master. Let's add that. So here we go. The Bookkeeper Master logo is now on here. You have your company name. If you change your company name, you can change that here. Legal name, you may have a, a different legal name. If you do, if you untick this box, you can enter that here and then click save, but mine's going to be the same. I've just called myself Essex Business Services. That's not what my business is called. It's just imaginary for this. And then if you are a limited company, you may have a company's house registration number. So let's put that in there. I'll just make it up. I don't know if it will let me put one in. Let's have a look. Okay, it has. So that's great. Limited company name. Your company type, so if you're a sole trader, limited company, partnership, a charity, all your options are here. Just click what you want. Let's do a limited company or corporation. Your industry, and then once you've entered that, you can click save. 
You then have contact information. Once again, just like the logo, it's important that you enter this and it's up to date. So I've got an email address in there. You might want to put a customer facing email address, so like your general info one, um, or a more specific one for a specific person in the company, your company website. It's important to put all of this information on because it's going to show on your invoices and other things. So the website, www.freebookkeepingaccounting.com. That's my website. Let's click save. All of this is going to show on your invoices and other reports that you bring up, other documents. So it's important that it's all up to date. Your address down here, enter your address. I'll just make something up. Obviously, you can take more time doing this. You can even pause these videos, enter the information. Once you've clicked save, start the video or play the video again, just so uh, I'm not losing you. Okay, legal address, same as company address. If not, untick that, enter the information, and also a customer-facing address. Let's click Save. Okay, that's been entered. And then we have it. So the company's all set up. Pretty straightforward, I think. If you get any error boxes that appear, this has happened to me before using QuickBooks Online. It's great software, it's very reliable, but there has been times when an error box has come up. I've had to contact QuickBooks in the past about that, and then they've just done it for me. I don't know if it's just a technical glitch on their side. There are some other options here, um, but I'll go through them in the next video, so I'll speak to you again shortly.